Hello bakers and welcome to Upside Down. Today we're going to be talking about vertex color inside Unreal Engine 4. We're going to have a look how you can use vertex color inside your materials and some of the cases that it's going to be useful for. Now without further ado, let's roll the intro. The scene that you can see at the moment on the back, uh, I'm using vertex color on some of the assets. And the one that I'm going to show you is going to be uh, about this asset over here. So this is a scant asset that was uh, created from uh, scant drone data. And uh, after that, it's uh, being processed and optimized so that it can uh, be imported inside Unreal and be used for games. So uh, this asset originally, it doesn't have any snow uh, on top of it. And uh, what I created was uh, a material which uh, I'm using vertex color and I'm using vertex color in order to blend the texture which I'm using for the snow. This is one of the techniques that you can use vertex color in order to blend assets that are not from the environment that you're creating at the moment and help them just uh, be more integrated into the whole scene. So uh, the way that I'm doing this, of course, this is uh, on material instance, but uh, I'm going to show you now the actual master material. And uh, this is uh, the master material. You can see that it's a very simple one, uh, nothing fancy and nothing huge, like there are materials with very, very huge logics. Uh, but uh, what I'm doing is uh, basically, you can see that uh, there is a diffuse, there is actually like few diffuse maps, few roughness maps, uh, subsurface and normal. And then uh, this is our vertex color node. So uh, now let's create a new master material where I'm going to show you how exactly to hook this vertex color in order for everything to be a little bit more clean and to be easier for me to show you uh, how exactly it works. So first thing that I'm going to do is just right click uh, somewhere in our content browser, make material and I'm going to just give it a name. After that, we are going to open this material. So what we need is either a texture or we can use uh, just a simple color. So I'm going to use in my case, just simple color. I'm going to pick for uh, this color, let's say red. And I'm going to duplicate it. And for the second one, I'm just going to pick a blue color. And our material is going to be very simple one. So we would like to have uh, two different colors on uh, a plane or on the geometry that we created. And what we want to do is use a vertex color to blend in between those two. So uh, what we need is a vertex color node. I'm just going to right click somewhere in the empty space, type vertex color, and this is what you should get. So here you can see that we have a couple of different pins. Each of the pins, you can see that they are color coded. This means that each pin corresponds to a certain vertex color channel. So each texture, since we are using RGB, uh, we have a red, green and blue channel. So each of these pins is going to represent one of those channels. Since we have just two colors that we want to blend, I'm just going to use the red channel for the moment. So what we need to create is LURP. The way that we can create LURP is either to right click and type here LURP or as well we can hold L on the keyboard, click somewhere on the empty space and this will uh, create a LURP node. So in the LURP node what we need to do is we have uh, our A and then we have our color B and the alpha is going to be the red channel from the vertex color. Alpha is uh, going to control how exactly we blend in between those two colors. So I'm just going to connect this to our base color and then I'm going to connect this into the alpha. Now we're just going to hit apply, save and let's put an object into the scene. I'm going to grab something from the basic one. So let's grab a sphere, just going to make it a little bit bigger like this and I'm going to apply the material onto the sphere. So now in order for us, you can see that uh, everything is just blue. So in order for us to be able to access the vertex color, we need to go into the vertex color menu. So here from modes, we need to change into mesh paint, then into paint. And here we have this section, which is color painting. As you can see, we have different channels. So we have red, green and blue. 
and we just used the red channel so i'm going to toggle off for the moment the other ones and just read the red channel and once you hover over the object that you have selected you can see that you get those small dots here and there these are the vertices of your mesh vertices and how much geometry you have in your mesh is very important for vertex color because what you actually do is you paint and you give certain commands to that vertices so if you have a mesh that only has let's say a plane with just four vertices in all the corners you're gonna be able to paint vertex color only there not in the middle part so in order for you to have more control you need to have a lot more vertices and you need to have a lot more information for you to be available to paint it there are two Two ways that you can paint the first one is if you just click with the first mouse button and you're gonna be painting so this is something that you can see at the moment i am not doing anything this is because already there is some color applied and the other way is to erase color so at the moment apparently there is a red channel information so the way that we can erase information is by holding shift so if i hold shift and paint you can see that we blend from the blue color to red one if you'd like to see in the viewport and Unreal to illustrate how exactly your vertex color looks like, we can do this from toggling the color view mode. At the moment you can see that it's off, but if I go on RGB, so at the moment it's uh, a little bit greenish blue, and this is because we have some information into our green and blue channel, so if I now click on those and paint over here, you can see that it will become completely black. This is because we removed all the color information, but if I select and leave just the red one and paint, you can see that now we're gonna have just a red color. This is a good way to represent and to see what exactly is happening with your vertex color on your assets. But also another way, if you don't want to see all the colors, you can just select, for example, red channel. And then you will be able to see what's happening only into the red channel. So at the moment you can see that the whole asset is completely red, but if I remove a certain portion of it, this part will become black. This means that we removed the information from there. And this is also one way that you can paint and see what exactly uh, and how exactly your channel is affecting the geometry. Of course, we can always go into off and see how exactly the material looks like. Now, if we want to go and add another layer, let's go back to our master material and do this. So first thing that I'm gonna do is exit our mesh paint mode. So I'm just going to go into select and go back to our master material. I'm going to copy paste and put a third node. Let's make this one a green. And we just need another lerp. And the way that we connect it is from this lerp, we put it into A and then the next color is going to be into B. And here we're gonna use the green channel for applying uh, how we're gonna blend it into the alpha. And now this one, we're gonna connect it over here into base color, apply, save, and let's go back into uh, seeing how exactly our asset looks like. So as you can see, it uh, immediately applied the green color on top. This is because the way that we are blending everything, this is the one that it's going to be on the top. Then this is the one underneath and the one on the very bottom is the red one. So now in order for us to blend and edit this, we need to go back to mesh paint. And this time we're going to have the option not only to paint into our red channel, but also we're gonna have the option to paint into the green channel. So here you can see that I can paint the green paint on top, or let's say I can remove bigger portion. Remember that the green one is on top, then we have the blue one underneath, and on the very bottom is the red color. So if I just now put on red, we can start painting the red color in, or removing it, of course, whatever we would like to do. Vertex color is something which can be used to blend not only the diffuse and not only colors, but you can do this with textures, you can do this with roughness maps, and pretty much with everything, with normal maps and so on. So you can blend whatever you need for your asset. You can even blend different types of textures in order for create more interesting results. If you would like me to do more videos on that topic and show you a little bit more complex materials, how you can blend different types of materials and different types of setups, Leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to do this. Thank you for joining me in today's video. I hope that this video was useful and helpful to you. See you next time.